Hey, welcome back, y'all. You ever wonder why we as individuals continue to ask God to forgive us for past sins, sins we going to commit in the futures, and sins we're committing right now that we don't even know of? And I've been doing that for a mighty long time. And the Holy Spirit began to minister to me. He was like, daughter, what sins are you talking about? And I was like, father, you know, um, when I did this and, you know, when I did that. And, you know, Lord, I, I want you to forgive me because, you know, I just, I don't know why I thought what I, I don't know why, I, I don't know why. And he like, you need to freshen up on my word again. What does my word say in regarding sins? If we ask, you know, God with a sincere heart, Father, forgive me, and we truly are repenting of our sins, he said, I'll forgive you, right? And just with me, you know, having a conversation, you know, with the Spirit of God, and I'm like, yeah, you say you'll, for you'll forgive. Also, not just that, but read over in Hebrews, you know, I believe chapter 8, he talks about that he'll cast your sins into the depths of the sea. And I'm like, dang, okay, so he casting them away. Then I go back over to Isaiah, I think that's what, 42, 43, and he's talking about, okay, you know, I'm going to block out your transgressions. And for my own sake, you know, he choose not to remember them no more. And I'm like, dang, Lord, here I am reminding you of something I did, you know, feeling guilty about it. And that's what it is. It was a spirit of guilt that was setting in. And that's not the spirit of God. And I had to ask myself, where is this spirit coming from? Why has this spirit been dwelling with me for so long? The spirit of guilt, you know, you know, I feel like I'm already condemning myself and he's already forgave me. Like he's forgiven me. But yet, I keep knocking at the door and, and reminding him. I'm reminding him of some foolishness that I did. He don't even, he wish not to remember. He says for his own sake, he would remember them no more. And I'm like, dang, that makes you think like the weight of sin, you know, once it's fully developed, it leads to death anyway. So just the thought of remembering sin. God choose not to even do it. So why is it that we're putting that on, you know, that weight on ourselves to keep up with the past sin we committed? You know, God forgave you. Don't even talk about it, you know? And then, you, you know, a lot of people want to give a testimony and testimonies are great. You know, we overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of, you know, our testimony, you know, you know, testify is great. But to dwell on that, to continue, you know, to ponder on, on your mistakes. You, you gotta, we gotta watch, you know, our thoughts, watch our thoughts and, and gear them correctly, gear your thoughts correctly. Because if you don't, if you don't watch it, you know, where good is evil is also present. Satan has a way to allow you to, you know, focus your attention on something else. And now you'll realize, man, am I, you'll start questioning, am I really over this? You know, has God truly forgave me? Yes, he's forgiven you. Son, daughter, friend, brother. Yes, God has forgiven us. You know, those that are, you know, children of the light <laughs> who ask for repentance. Yes, he's forgiven us. And with that forgiveness, let's embrace it, man. Thank God he forgave us, and for his own sake, he choose to remember it no more. And I just encourage you all, man, follow me as I follow Christ. You know, Paul said, you know, if, if Jesus choose to forgive and forget, man, let's mirror after him. We need to reflect his same exact actions. That's what our God want to do? Hey, Amen. That's what I'm going to do. Well, at least that's what I'm I'm going to input in my life. You know, when he shared this revelation to me from that point on, 
I don't ask him to forgive me for old sins. It kind of sound crazy when you think about it. <laughs> but you all be blessed. Don't worry about that guilty conscience, man. Forgive yourself. Ask for forgiveness from the Father. He's forgiven you. And move on. Move on and forget. Pray and the Lord will allow you to forget if you want to forget. But you all be blessed. Be blessed. God has forgiven you. Follow the guidance of the Holy Spirit. God bless you. Thank you.